Good evening and welcome to Music Scrap Musical Scrapper, second recording for tonight. First one was a short, sh uh, short sort of <laughs> share of my Project Life book that I have done so far for my sister. Oh, okay, sorry, my inks are avalanching on me, of course. So, a couple of weeks ago, when Dee Dee was streaming, she showed this tin and said, oh, someone would be able to, you know, alter this or whatever. And I was like, well, I could. I would use that. It'd be really cool to use as a brag book. So she was like, well, if you'll use it, I'll send it to you. I was like, I'll use it. And actually, it came very quickly in the mail because I got it a week and a half ago. And she only showed me. It, I think it barely took a week to get here. Okay, so, now, inside is actually nothing. This comes off. I discovered this came, comes off. It scared me because I, I, I thought I broke it, but I realized it comes apart. Now, it wasn't empty. It, of course, had these CD holders in it, which I took out because it, I could have if I wanted to put paper on these and use the pockets, but I don't know. I might use them. I'll probably use them for something, but I just didn't want to use them for this. So they're stashed over here on top of another pile. And so what I did was I cut this shape. on my Cricut. I designed it and I cut it. And I'm going to use this as a brag book for my nieces and my and my grandnephew Till. And I'm going to make, make a page that will be empty for now for my new great niece or nephew that's arriving in July. So each one, each one, each niece and nephew will get a page like this. I need a new blade for my Cricut. I discovered when I was cutting this. <laughs> yes, I did. So I have five pages. And then I almost put my Cricut all away and everything. I put my computer away. And I was like, oh, no, I need whatever I'm going to use to decorate for the covers and the inside and the back. I was like, phooey. Anyway, so, so, <laughs> I was like, oh, so I got to instead of get my, I could have got my computer back out, but I didn't. So I just grabbed the cartridge and I cut some scallops, scallop circles. I should say. So I cut some scallop circles. Now, so these are going to, the scallop circles are going to be on my, on the tin. And these are all going to fold. I'm going to score them and fold them so they will go in Tin. So, hope they fit. Hope they fit. Let's just say, I hope they fit. Anyway, I know the circle will fit. I just hope I got it over far enough. I'm not sure if I got this over far enough. We'll see. All right. So I am going to decorate the paper using my jelly tape because I was going to cut it from print it from um, you know scrap of paper and I was like, oh, I haven't used my jelly plate in a while. I want to use my jelly plate. So I said, ah, why don't I just cut them from plain card stuff and then I can use my jelly plate to decorate them. 
that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> and so let's move this out of the way. Now this is the, there is a little rivet or whatever you want to call it that held those plastic papers in. But, and I tried to see if I could twist it and take it out, but I'm just going to leave it there. Maybe I'll use it to actually hang a, make a dangle or something at some point, but not tonight. So, okay. So let's get this out of my way for now. Oh, and I kept, when I first put my paper on to cut the, uh, the scallop circle, I put it on my cutting mat the wrong way. So I kept pieces that got cut wrong. <laughs> so who knows where I might be able to use those. So I'm going to decorate those. You think so, Elisa? <laughs> so true. So true. I also kept these. Who knows when these may come in handy? Still decorate them. See if I have like leftover paint on my. jelly plate or something. Okay. I know. I think Lisa's saying we touch. Eileen and I talk a lot. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. Okay. Let me get my jelly plate. Don't be shocked. If you haven't been here before, my jelly plate is not clean. I don't care about my jelly plates as long as my hands are clean. Oh, and I even left this on it. I'm going to have to do a pull-up print first. It's going to have to be my first thing. Look at all that yumminess left on my jelly plate. Definitely going to have to do a pull-up. Sure. And now let's uh, hold on a second here. Do a little uh, oh, hold on. I don't wanna let me see if I can get it to uh oh yeah. There we go. All right. There. Okay. Oh, um, hold on now. Let me see if someone will have to open. Um, someone will have to open links for me. Let me make. Who wants to be my mod? Because none of my mods are here. Sherry just got booted, I think, from chat, or she left if she was getting too many circles. Um. Who can I make my mod? I don't even think I can. Hold on. Mitzi, are you there? Oh, okay. I was just going to ask. Okay. There you go. So Mitzi is now my mod. There, Mitzi. Okay. So first thing I have to do is find my, oh, move my watercolor paints because they're in the way. White paint. White paint or black paint. I'm not going to do white paint. I'm going to do it on my screen. There's my white paint. I've got a piece of cream paper here. Oh, where's my brayer? Hold on. <coughs> where's my brayer? 
this is my box of stuff. Oh, somehow I've got paper in there. I don't know how my... Oh, and a... This stencil should be in here. Not in there. Hold on. I'm going to be using it anyway, but... Hold on. Okay. Okay. If you want to put that link in, uh, Carol, Missy opens the links for us there. Uh oh. Hold on. I've got to get a piece of scrapbook paper here that I can use as. Oh, where did it go? Which door? Oh, that door. Okay, hold on. Grab a few sheets here. I can use for my rolling off. I am using my. Hold on, it's gonna move. Oh, I should have moved more stuff before I started streaming. I forgot I needed space for my. Hold on. Let's put these in a baggie before I get messed up. Sorry, I forgot I needed space to roll off on. How could I forget that? Okay. So I'm just going to use some papers that I have. Okay, there we go. Now I'm ready, I guess, sort of. <clears throat> okay, all right. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, so, you, oh, Carol's waiting for Lisa to share the owl lake. I thought it was Carol that had that owl lake. Never mind. Okay, so this should give us a really good leftover roll-off print. Oh, hold on. I'm going to take off, or at least move this sweater out of the way, because I don't want to get paint all over this sweater. I forgot I was painting today. Oh boy. I should, really should have cleaned my brayer. I'm going to get lots of texture from my brayer today. So much paint on it. Okay, so when you're doing this, you try and leave a little bit of a, you do a thinnish layer. Well, thin for me, maybe regular for normal people. Let it sit for a second. Tacky. And then put on your paper, and you're going to leave the paper on longer than you normally do because you want to the what the white layer to start drying and picking up the layer underneath it. So you're going to Keep it on the jelly plate a little longer than usual. I see chat is booting people around a little bit tonight. People are getting booted out on and off. I hope you aren't getting too many blue circles, but as you all know, there's nothing be done by that. I did put the quality down a little bit today. 
hoping that would help. And I don't seem to be pixelated. I don't know if I'm pixelated to you guys. <laughs> you always use thin layers of paint. Well, I usually use more because then you can get more prints off it. You can get two or three ghost prints by using more paint. That's all. If you use a thin layer, then you just get the one print or may maybe one ghost print. Okay, here we go. Didn't pull up as much as I wanted, but it's going to be cool still. Very cool. It is? Okay, let me try and... Okay. I just put the quality up a little bit. Let's hope we stay um, connected. And I'm going to try something. Hold on. Okay, I switched to my camera microphone. So... Uh, let's see if the sound is, is the sound any better with this microphone? Because my last couple of streams, my sound has been strange. And I'm wondering if it's the microphone on my computer. Okay. Oh, I thought Mitzi put on links. Mitzi, can you open links, please? You can leave them open unless we start getting hammered. All right. I didn't get off as much as I wanted on there, so I'm going to turn it over. Use the other side. It's dirty, too, but not as dirty. All righty. So let's start. I'm going to start with my... I only have to do one side of these ones because they are um, going to be taped down to the CD. So I only have to do one side of those. So I'm going to start with those and I'm going to use, of course, my favorite color combo and my favorite paint. That and that and one of the blue, green, or green, blue. Which one did I pick up? I picked up green, blue, so that's what I'm going to use. Now I have papers ready to do the ghost printing. You know what is really strange is the sound is not what should be choppy. The sound doesn't take as much bandwidth as the um, video does. So this, I don't know what's going on. But broad, if I use the broadcast, um, if I use Ustream Producer, it keeps kicking me off. But when I use video go live, my sound is crappy. Well, anyway. I've got some caked on paint here. I think I might peel off. It's like hard. I think that's, there we go. That other side, I don't mind. It'll pick up when I'm doing layers, but kind of want to. I don't mind having extra paint on it, but I don't want icky, hard paint on it. You know what I mean? Nope. 
worry, my nails aren't long enough to hurt my jelly plate. Hey, Erica. Oh, you're going to craft along with me, Kathy? Cool. If you guys follow Kathy and I on Twitter, you will see that we've, and, and Robin, we've been having fun chatting with each other as we are watching curling and the Olympics. Go Canada! Canada's doing so awesome! We've got seven <clears throat> medals already. Woohoo! Three days in. It's awesome. We always do better in the Winter Olympics, obviously, but for considering our country is one of the largest land-wise, but smallest population-wise, we only have 37, 35 million or something in our whole country. So, yeah. All right, that's going to be it. So, here we go. Now try not to overdo the paint squeeze paint tube squeezing today. Oh no, I've got to order some new of this pretty soon because I'm running out. Whoops. See, I'm running out. I don't know who's tweeting me, but I can't check it right now. Oh, I was going to say, did I go off air? I checked and no, not off air, so not sure what the tweet's about. But. Okay. <clears throat> Yay, Vicky. Oh, oh, he's so amazing, Kathy, isn't he? Oh, and he, he and his brother are so close. We're talking about Alex Bilodeau, our Canadian who just won Olympic champion again, because he won in Vancouver as well, uh, in the men's moguls. And his brother was born with cerebral palsy, and the doctors told him, that he would, by the time he was 10, he wouldn't be able to walk again. And Alex works with him and works with him. And uh, they said, there's no way that that's going to happen, that he's going to stop. And he does. He can still walk. And uh, they're just uh, best of uh, buddies and friends. I don't want to mix this too much. All right, I want to do texture for my first. I'm going to start with texture for my first. Uh, I think I'll use the small, oh, if I can find it, small bubble wrap. First layer. No, okay. Guess not. I'm going to use the kind of wavy one here. Really? Well, I guess they would if we, if we did that, uh, Mitzi. Actually, so would the English. <laughs> that's nothing personal, but oh, that's hilarious. That's too funny, Mitzi. Mitzi said she dream, had a dream the other night that Canada and United States, that Canada joined the United States and that the French went nuts. <laughs> that's like, that's too funny. All right, so let's do one there and one here. <laughs> I 
doesn't matter what gets on the back side because like I said, it's going to be taped down. Oh, there's my dryer finished. But I'll have to, I'll have to do it another round to get my thermos dry. Like I'm going to do this as quick as I can. I want to get it right out to the edges. Notice I'm trying to do it without... Hello, Jean. Duh. Ugh. I didn't I think of this before, silly girl. So the paint won't dry. Oh, well, yeah. Well, actually, um, I have to do some fun foam. It's a good idea, Mitzi. But I, I do have the some of those Sizzix and Stampin' Up! embossing plates. So that's a good idea that you just made me think of that. I can use those in my big shot. And they're six by whatever. Six by ten or whatever. So you see, I can make some backgrounds while I'm doing this. Cool or what? <clears throat> this up. Now, of course, they curl because the paint is wet, but. And let's see, it might be too late. I guess I've been wrong. Mm. No, don't worry about it. You can put, use all caps because I can't see. The cues don't come up as blue for me, so. Don't worry about it. Don't feel bad. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, I must mention that to her, Mitzi. <laughs> hey, she can do it and send it with my prize because I won the Tim Holtz stencil on Saturday. Good idea. I should give her a hint. And there's another one. Woo, blurry. Sorry. There we go. Let me check uh, my settings here. I don't think I have auto. Just a second. Oh, yes, I do have auto focus on. Sorry. It's off now, so it should be all right. Okay. So there's two. I think I'm going to draw. Uh, I should dry them because I'm going to totally. I, I need to dry these as I go, guys, because otherwise they're going to get messed up on my desk here. Or something else will get messed up on my desk. This is just the first layer. I'm going to be adding more layers. Exactly, Carol. I don't see John I hear yet. I thought she was going to be here, but she maybe she's going to be late. She asked if I was streaming. Darn it, Vicky. Sorry, but all right. Okay, so there's the first layer. Okay, so I can safely put those. All right, so now let's see. What combination do I want to use for the inside? That's going to be the outside. So maybe for the inside I'll try 
these two and see what happens. What are you cooking, Mitzi? Oh, pork tenderloin? Oh, yum. In the slow cooker, Mitzi? <laughs> yeah, we're all coming over, Mitzi. All of us. All of us are coming for dinner. I think I'm just going to stick with the... Oh! One way. All right. There's a small bubble wrap. <clears throat> bubble wrap. All right. Oh my goodness. So Yes, actually I have some pork Pork loin chops, they're called. I get them at, at Costco. So I'm not really, I'm not a huge fan of just pork chops. Not really. I mean, I don't hate them, but I mean, I'd rather something else kind of thing. But these pork loin chops are like an inch and a quarter thick at least. So it's basically having a small pork loin roast for me. And you get about eight... I think you get eight of them in this package for like 13 bucks and eight is one of them is more than a meal for me. Well, it should be more than a meal. <laughs> so I think one of these I'm going to make some pulled pork using these pork loin chops I have in the freezer. I'm going to do that one of these days. And then I'm going to freeze it up for to use on buns and casseroles and stuff. Yes, sorry, Bob, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Sorry, Jean, I was, I was talking. I got lost in thought. So there's the background. Okay. So these are going to be for the inside. Oh, very cool. Look at that. How lovely is that? Let me try and get the shimmer for you. Look at that. Very cool. I didn't use as much paint this time, so it was, it's going to dry a little more quickly. And let me do this. I'm not going to get much up on this ghost because I didn't put as much paint on. Thank you, Vicky and Mitzi. Okay. Now for the pages. Oh, I made five of those, but I don't need five. So I'll do that if I have the other one if I have time at the end. I'm going to get the other pages done first. Uh, just a little bit there. That's okay. I will build on that. All right. So 
Now, will I do the second layer of these? Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go back and do my other layers of these, and then I'll go on and do the pages. That way these will be done. All right, so what color? Let's see. I think I will add... Purple. Which purple? This one, I think. And I'm going to use my chevron. This is my own chevron stencil that I did myself. Yes, I did. Oh, really? They don't have them in this size anymore? Well, I won't. The thing is, I have to figure it out. They were still a whole bunch cheaper. They were like half the price as what any of the stores and online stores in Canada have. And then the delivery was reasonable, but they sent them by FedEx, which meant I had to spend pay another 11 bucks because I was too lazy to fight them because for for their fees, FedEx fees or whatever. So, but they were still probably cheaper than buying them at, at in can Canadian stores. But the Canadian, oh, so I'll, I'll have to check and see because I do have to buy some more of the green especially. And they didn't have the red one when I was there. They were sold out. Hey, Nancy, nice to see you. At Blick, I wonder how Blick, see the fine art store, I, I just assumed they'd send it by um, like USPS. Like I didn't know they'd send it by FedEx just because we're international. Yeah, but Mitzi, the thing is, fine art store already charged me my tax and customs. That's what ticks me off. It wasn't. It just makes me mad because I shouldn't have had to pay usually well it was over 75 no it wasn't how much was it Five nines, four, it was like it, it, anyway it just makes me mad so I shouldn't have had to pay at customs it was, it was FedEx fees because it wasn't customs bit too much down, didn't I? Hmm. The stuff's so thin compared to the other nice paint. What I need to do is take a trip to Bangor. Oh, maybe my cousin wants to go to Bangor. I'm off until after March break. My cousin's off for the rest of the year on a uh, it's called deferred leave. Oh, maybe we should go to Bangor. I don't have any money to go to Bangor, but hi, Mandy. Nice to see you. As Vicky says, hold on. I'm gonna get my piece of paper here. Mandy Watson is Nancy. Nancy, meet Mandy. I'm not sure if you guys have met yet. Mandy is Jen Ozagran's daughter. My niece. <laughs> there we go. And I just need, need to add popped white, but I will be doing that later. Sorry, not sure if you saw those. Oh, really? So yeah, well, Suzanne, Bangor is about five hours, uh, five hours from here, maybe five and a half. That would be cool. 
Well, I, I will certainly let you know, Suzanne, if, if we do go down. Most definitely. Oh. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'll have to look. I, I'll, I'll look and see, like, Callus is just right across the border. So Callus is about three and a half hours from here. Three hours and 15 minutes. And I don't know what they have in Callus. Probably not much. As far as craft stores, that is. But, um... I know I can't do it before the end of, well, until I get my pay in February, because I have new money at the moment, so not nothing. Here we go. So these are ready for my pop of white and pop of black. I'm just going to quickly put my heat gun on them for a second, so please excuse the noise. And I gotta put down, hold on. Still have some wet on the edges here. Oh, is that right, Karen? That cool. Well, you guys have to remember that Canada and the United States were settled after. By, by French and European settlers, right? So our most of our, a lot of our towns are going to be named after European cities. Like we have a London, London in Canada. We have, um, of course, the, the name Canada means uh, village in Mi'kmaq, or one of the native languages. I'm not, a, I'm not sure if it was Iroquois or if it was Mi'kmaq. I'm not sure which native tongue. Just trying to pick up what's left around the edges. You want your, you, what? You've never shopped on eBay before, Mitzi? You're not that sheltered, are you? Exactly, Kathy. And even, um, <laughs> I'd never have that much to spend anyway. Even 24 hours is what, 350 or something now? So as long as you stay overnight, you're, you're good to go. And I think it's 75 if you go across, just go across, go shopping. So if you get groceries and whatever. You call her Millie? How cute is that? It's like my, my niece's son, of course, you guys know Till. His name is Tillman, who is apparently a comic strip superhero over in Germany. So it's apparently quite a popular name in Germany for the boys. Tillman. I guess like calling your son Superman. Clark. <laughs> like calling your son Clark. Anyway, um, the, um, but they call him Till or Tilly. All right. Now, what color is going to pop on this one? Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, just a second. It's my cousin. Hello? Huh? Sure. Oh, the cases? Oh, sure. Yes, I can use. Yeah, sure. 
Yeah. Are ya? Okay. Oh yeah, I'm online here, so. Yep. Yeah, but... Okay, we'll just open the door and put them inside because I'll still be on streaming. Oh, you don't have your own card. Just leave them out. Just leave them outside the door that no one's going to take them. All right, then. Okay, bye. Okay. Glad I answered. It was my cousin. She's over town. Her father gave her some cases for, like, holding cassette tapes. So she goes, do you want them? I'm like, yeah, hello. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, Linda. Uh, it was my phone. Oh, sorry. I was just about to find a color to go to pop off that. Let's see. I think I want to use. What do I want to use on it? Something dramatic. Huh. Well, not that dramatic that I'm going to use black. No. Oh, guess what I found the other day? Huh? My small bottle of black craft paint. This is my garbage can. <coughs> oh, oh, I know what I want to use on this one. Hold on. I know. I'm going to use copper. And I'm going to use, let's see. Which, which. I'm going to use this eye stencil. Hello. Okay, come on. Oh, all right, that's enough for the whole page. Guess I like the copper one too because it seems to be getting a little low as well. Didn't know it was that low. Maybe it's just clogged or something. Okay. All right, lovely, lovely color. Love it, love it, love it. Yumminess. And this is one that already had some paint on it. <laughs> oh, yes, sorry. For those of you who came in, I'm making the inside pages of a, this CD mini, that uh, the CD case. I'm making pages for this. I'm going to use it as a brag mini. I have a huge purse, so I can easily take it in my purse with me. Not that I go anywhere, but it would be there. Oh, I like that. Look at that. That's cool. Very cool. And the other one. Really neat. I like how it just kind of ended up on the page where they're small and getting larger. Okay, so. All right, so that's the inside and outside. Let me do a cleanup page here. Um, let me put some on. Oh, oh, hope this didn't stick too much. Okay, I'm going to put it on this one. It's got the orange in it already, but so the cup, but the copper should still stand out. It is a very cool stencil. It's from iStencils, Brenda. 
Hey, Charlie, nice to see you. Well, it's the parent's job, Mitzi. Yep, it is. I think... There we go. Oh. I'm not sure if I can get any more up off this or not. It looks like I should be able to, but I think it dries. The um, metallic paints I find dry quicker than the others. Or maybe it's just that they then I'll soak into the paper more. Or but on the jelly plate, they seem to dry quicker. So I'm going to get lots of uh, copper picked up on these next pages here. But that's okay. It's all good. I'm making backgrounds. That's what's supposed to happen. So now, let me check this. So as this goes, it's going to fit. Okay, so I'm going to have to do them like kind of corner-wise when I do them. Alrighty, so I've got five of these to do both sides. Alright, so let's start off with, excuse me, I'm sorry to sniffle. Grab a tissue here. I guess it's allergies. I'm not really, I'm not getting cold or anything. I don't feel bad, so. Can't be getting the cold. Just the. I love those thing those so much. I hate not using them. Okay, so let's see what I got here. What can I do? Ooh. Okay, so there's a different green. Use that green. And what else can I pick up to use with it? Let's use. And green. Yeah. Try this mold. Let's see how well I'm going to do this. Yeah. Okay. And then do some green. Did Eileen come in? Oh, <laughs> really, Linda? <laughs> Too funny. All right, what do I have here? Hold on, I can't see my box of goodies. Pull a footstool out here. All right, let's use this one, which is dots. Dots. I seem to have lost some stuff from my texture box. Not sure where it's gone. Oh, is she? Oh, never mind. Okay. I read that wrong. Is she going to be the next I read? Never mind. I read that wrong. I'm just printing it off on one of those pages I have sitting over there. Oh, no. 
dead as in you can't use it or dead as in just the battery is dead? All right, let's see. I'm going to put this on top of this one. Who knows what it'll turn out like, but that's the fun of the jelly plate. I see. Oh yes, Charlie, how are you feeling? Are you streaming tomorrow? Oh, that's kind of cool. Of course, photos are going to be on these pages. Going to do some stamping. You can find stamps for this. Whoa. Stamp some letters. See how can you see the copper that's come up with that? And you can still see that that um, stencil design came up with it as well. Isn't that cool? There, you can see the copper. Okay. So now I'm going to do the other side of this set. Let's see. Maybe I shouldn't like leave every paint I use out on my desk while I'm working because it's kind of piled up if I do that. Right now they're just in a tub that would be normally. I'm going to use yellow or blue. No, just blue. Okay, I'm going to find the yellow here. Oh, I didn't know I had, I forgot I had this. Hold on. Rats. Yes, I'm going to use this. I got this iridescent medium because I got so used to having, I got so used to having these beautiful luscious acrylic paints that this flat, I'm glad the copper came up with this, but these flat regular normal acrylics bother me. Well, not they bother me, but they, I don't know, they're just not as pleasing. So I bought some iridescent medium. So I'm going to use that. I didn't, I forgot. All right, I need to find some yellow here. I want yellow, yellow, yellow. I thought I had them all turned upside down, but yeah, they're not upside down now. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to use, this is Craftsmark, dark yellow. And I'm going to use something blue. Mediterranean blue. So I'm going to use these two, and of course it'll make green. Okay, one thing, Lori, you may want to do when you buy your new computer, you may want to get one that has 7 on it, Windows 7 and not Windows 8. I know I don't have a Windows anymore. I have Mac and I haven't had a Windows computer for six years. Uh, no, one, two, three, seven years. Except for my school one. But from what I've heard, Windows 8 doesn't have all the bugs out of it yet as usual, even yet. Now, I don't know, Charlie may be able to speak to that more because her hobby is techie. But from what I've heard and read online, you may want to stick with a computer that has Windows 7 and sometimes you can pay to downgrade from 8 to 7. Lisa, that's what mom does. Mom makes, does up a whole bunch of beef and cut up vegetables and she'll have them first, you know, when we're like when we're home and we'll have, you know, we have enough for a few days in a row. Yeah, exactly. Just follow everyone I follow and you'll be all fine. 
<laughs> All right, bye, Lisa. Nice to see you. Okay, keep going, Jean. Stop getting distracted. You have five more pages to do here. I think I'll do this one this way. On that. On that side. A blue on this side. And let's see what color green we get in between. It's probably, I'm going to guess it's going to be like an olivey green because of the orange that's in this yellow. I think I need more yellow there. Hold on. Shit, it's not a very, it's a pretty transparent yellow. And it's beating up on my plate because my plate needs washed. <laughs> I guess. At some point, I guess I'm going to have to clean it because it is kind of beating up the paint. Okay, hold on. Get there. I want some of the pure color. That's why I'm rolling off in between. And darn it, I meant to put some of this. Listen, I'll tell you, I've got a good memory, but if my head wasn't, hold on, helps if you take the little silver seal off, darn it, oh, that's way too much, yeesh. Not only am I a little heavy-handed with paint, apparently I'm a little heavy-handed with mediums as well. Hmm. Who knew? Oh goodness, didn't mean to do that, but oh well, too late now. Let's see how this makes it really nice. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does what I want it to. All right, I've got this non-skid mat thingy here. Should give me some good texture. And the page. Start a new one, a new background. I'm gonna have to make a journal soon with all my backgrounds. Okay. I mean, Lori, in actuality, I would advise you to get a Mac, but I know that's probably not. <laughs> it's not feasible for a lot of people for an initial price. But let's just say <clears throat> my first Mac desktop I, I used for four years, and my niece is still using it. And it still works perfectly, so and it's seven years old. <clears throat> and this one I have is three years old. And I'm not even thinking of ever replacing it soon. I think I'm going to put another color on that because I'm not really happy with that yellow side, really.
Yeah, that's why I said to ask Charlie, Lori, because I knew her hubby was a techie. I'm just a pretend techie. Taught myself stuff. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I actually like that better than the background that's on the page. Look at that. Look at it's picked up a whole bunch of other like stuff from underneath. Very cool. That was a clean page. <clears throat> Still picking up, <clears throat> still picking up copper that was left behind, and very cool. All right, so I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'm gonna put some orange on here, so I'm going to dry this. Yeah, the iridescent medium did help. I should have put it on before I kind of spread it all out. But I can see some definite shimmer in this. See, you can definitely see some shimmer in it. But it would have been even better if I had remembered to put it on before I spread it with my... Uh, See that one? See the shimmer? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> well, quite a few, Mandy. I did make a journal for someone out of some of them. My first jelly prints I made at my other house, some of them I had to throw out when I was moving because I just had, I had too much stuff. So that I had a pile that I know I should have sent to Joyce, but... You guys know what I was going through when I was packing and moving. <clears throat> I just couldn't. So I did I did have a huge pile that I threw out and I did make a journal with some. So I do have I have a bit not as huge a pile as I'm sure Patty Parrish has. <laughs> hey Darcy, sorry I didn't see you coming in. Okay, so I'm going to use some of this orange to pop on there, and I think I'll use my favorite eye stencil stencil, <clears throat> this one. This is my favorite eye stencil stencil that I have anyway. Oh, okay, good. I was hoping I didn't kind of miss you hanging around for like hours. This will just kind of fix up that this kind of yellow blue. Uh, not totally fan of that mix. Yes, that happens sometimes when you have acrylic paint. You can get some weird color combos. All right, so let's. Sorry about the sniffles. Apologies again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I can't find deli paper anywhere in Canada that I can find. Well, there is an online store, but you have to, there's a, you, what's it called? You something. It's a paper company. But if they, you can only get like 5,000 sheets. I'm sorry, but I don't need 5,000 sheets or 1,000 sheets or something. I'm like, I don't need that many. Uh, 
I'm not at the collaging point in my art journal yet. So that puts a couple of areas of So that adds a little interest. And then, of course, I'll do my black and white pops on there, too. Okay, so that can be set aside. And now I need another print. Ah, uh, yes, here, I have this one. So I'm going to add to this. Right now, which way? This way. I love the ghost printing from these stencils. See how it's kind of just around dark around the edges of the stencil? It's so cool. The holes. I know. I know, Mandy. I meant to, but I forgot. I was going to this time, but I forgot to. I was deciding and thinking about it over Christmas. And then I was going to, and then I forgot to put my name in. Thank you, Vicki. Oh, Kathy, that would be cool. If you could do that, that would be cool. And just like, give me a few to try out. If I go to Bangor, I definitely will put it on my list. Man, excuse me again. I tried to do it without blowing my nose too hard on you. Okay. Would you like a stencil in return, uh, Kathy? Which of my stencils do you like? I can throw a couple of stencils in an envelope for you. Of the ones that I made. Okay, so let's get going, Jean. I've got still that... One, two, three, four more of these to go. Okay. Hardest thing is picking the colors to uh, try and stray from colors that I haven't used yet before or different combos. Not always use the same thing because that's my trouble. I always go to the same colors. Okay. Use this one. And... That other purple. This purple. Okay, so I'm going to use this Laguna Apple, whatever. And then this one is Deco Art African Violet. So I think this time I want to go across the top and the bottom. I will, Kathy, I will. And then you can send me your Addy. And I'll throw in a couple stencils on to you. How's that? Okay. I, I'm scared. It's kind of clogged, but I don't want to... There, eek, eek. Hold on. Hold on. I don't want the cloggy, icky stuff to go on my... <laughs> Better put that in the garbage. If I put it on my nose, uh, wouldn't be good. Would not be good. Okay. 
matter. Trying to get most of the color off so I can do it separately first. Because sometimes I like to have some separate colors. And now I'm just going to go across here and I'm just going to do a mixture so that I have some of the, each color. But then I also have a mixture. Oh, oh, you don't have any stencils. Oh, okay, cool. No problem. All right, so this is just like a kind of a nap, like a rug or something. Just stuck my finger in purple paint. Ugh. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it the other way. And it's just going to spread some of the purple dots to the So see, it spread some of the purple dots to the teal, and it's some of the teal down into the purple. So I'm going to go this way. Oh, no, Erica, ick. Oh, Lori, okay, just so you know, Lori, have a box of tissues with you while you go through Barb's book. It is the most amazing thing that you will ever, ever listen to. Absolutely amazing. But you will need a box of tissues. Just saying. I read the book and <laughs> there were times that I couldn't see through the, oh, it's just amazing. Oh no, really, Suzanne? Guess I better be careful when I'm in the States. <laughs> look, it's still, look, that's still pulling up. See that pulled up some of the uh, copper? Oh! That's pulling up some of the copper too. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, look at that. Look at it. That is yummalicious. Oh, well, that was quick, Kathy. Thank you so much. You have three boxes of tissues ready. <laughs> Okay, good, Lori. It, it really is an amazing, amazing book. Thank you, Vicki. So, now I need to do the other side of that one. Let me see if I, I don't know if I can pick up any more on this or not. Some in the blank areas. Not much. Okay. All right. I really like that. That is so cool. All right, I'm going to make the other side nice and bright. I'm going to go back to the yellow, but I'm going to use Instead of that blue, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to use more of a turquoise and see if I like it better. Actually, it's turquoise. <laughs> so I'm going to use that dark yellow. I should find my other yellow. Where's my other yellow? Oh, no. Hold on. 
I don't want my paints all to fall off my lead here. But I have them on so I can reach them. Okay. I do have a brighter yellow. It might work better. Pure yellow. Hmm. I wonder where it would be. It doesn't appear to be anywhere close, of course, because that would be too easy. Sorry I have to keep searching for colors, folks, but there's no way. I do this kind of as I go, so there's no way. Oh, that might be nice. Of course, it's a little close to the color of... Paper, but that doesn't matter. Oh, there it is. There's the yellow. Okay, I knew it should be nearby. So I'm going to use instead of the dark yellow, I'm using light yellow, which is oh dear, almost empty. Hmm. This time I'm going to do multiple stripes of each one. I'm going to have to sit that up. Okay, I'm going to have to get more of like, like a lighter yellow. I went a little heavy on the turquoise, but all's good. Let's do the yellow first. Oh, I went into the teal a little bit, but that's okay. Works best if you can go both directions, actually. It covers better. And of course, that yellow doesn't want to cover very much, so let's. And I forgot to put it, almost forgot. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is one sweep this way and this way. Just one sweep. There we go. It's a lot of paint there. A little more than I intended. Oh well. C'est la vie. All right, I haven't used this one yet. This one's like a weave sort of fabric. It's not really a hound's tooth, it's just like a weave show the tin again okay here's the tin it's for cds it had these inside it for cds but i'm making the page pages for inside it's going to be like a, just make an accordion book to go inside it it's basically what it's going to be Okay. I'm gonna put this on here, get some of that paint off there, stamp it on. See? Works as a stamp. Okay, so a little hard yellow there. Hello, where did it go? Oh, I'm working on my next one. Oh, I didn't realize. Here we go. It's a new one. I guess I'll start a new page since it's a new uh... And I'm still recording, thank goodness. So 
So I'm going to have photos of, I have three nieces, and then I, my oldest niece has a two and three quarter year old boy. He'll be three in April. And then she's due with her second baby in July. So I am going to have five pages, one for each of them. So I'm going to do some baby pictures and little girl pictures, and then the latest picture I have of them. So I'm going to just print out like two by two or one and a half by one and a half pictures or whatever. I'm just going to make them tall, tiny, tiny little photos. Big enough for me to have to brag to people about my nieces. There we go. It's kind of cool. But still bringing up copper paint. Look at that. Very cool. I'm going to dry this because I have to do the back side of it. While I'm drying it, I'm going to add the back of this. Ah! Oh no! Hold on. It's got wet paint on it, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get much of your stream on Saturday, Dar. I was, I got about two and a half hours of blue circle at your stream. And I wasn't in the chat much because I was watching Olympics. And working on my project life for my sister. So it's like triple tasking. Normally I don't draw my pages, but since I want to, of course I could go on and do the other one and then do the back of this, but so you can see the shimmer from the iridescent medium but it didn't get totally mixed right like you know if I if I put it on it probably worked better if I put it on a palette and actually mixed it in before I put the paint on my plate but there is some shimmer so that gives a little little bit of life <laughs> I know dar love you no so I have no idea what her, her homework is because I didn't know there was homework because I missed <laughs> more of this dream than a, I only got to see about 4% of it of even that all right so on the other side of this one I want to go back to these I'm going to do orange and pink I'm going to do orange and pink I don't think I've done this combination yet that see we're getting some of the uh um, on these ghost prints you can see i'm getting some of the circles some of the shape of the pages well then i have to find out what the homework is dar if it's going to be a biggie prize I'll tweet someone and find out what the homework is. All right. So, pink and orange. And actually, it's not pink. It's called violet, blue, violet. And I'm going to mix this one all around so it doesn't have stripes. And I put way too much on. But, oh, well. 
I'll have more pages. Oh, oh yeah, that one was supposed to be on the back of this one. Okay, never mind. All right, so this one, I know I got mixed up somewhere. Okay, this is going to be on the back of this page. All right. I might be able to use this for both of these pages. <laughs> I've got enough here, I think. Enough left over. Okay. Texture. What am I going to do for texture? Where's the tuck? Polka dots. Haven't used polka dots yet. I don't think I used my red polka dots yet. Maybe I did. I can't remember. Maybe I used my old red one. Yeah, I did, I guess. That's okay. It doesn't matter. I've used things more than once. Um, yuck. I just put my finger in that paint. Big time. It's still wet somewhere. Here, I guess. <sighs> Darn it. I don't want to handle so much pain on my fingers, and I'm going to have to wash them pretty soon. Ooh. Oh, okay, thank you, Carol. doesn't include a decapitated doll. So I don't decapitate dolls. Just saying. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because I could have used it on the other the other way. All right, I'm going to see how much I have left to do this other other side. I'll just turn it this way. And I just tuck my arm in there. Oh, hello. Uncurl there. See if I get enough on this. If not, I'll add something else. Okay, still got that much out of it, but now, of course, some blue is coming up with it. Let's see if I got enough. Oh, look at that. That's like a pulled page. Look at that cool. Oh, okay. Alrighty, Dar. I think I can handle that, maybe. Oh, gloves in a bottle. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> That's. I saw. Um, I saw Packard and I putting it on the other day. Invisible gloves, and I'm like, oh, I've got to get to an art store that has sells that stuff. I can't wear plastic gloves, not because I'm allergic to them or anything, but they just make my hands sweat. Yeah, they bug me. I tried it. I tried it in Austin when the girls brought me some uh, gloves. It was so nice of them. Two different people in Austin at the retreat brought me a box of gloves. It's too funny.
course, I don't have many magazines, but I'll see what I can do. Can I print them from on? Can I print them from online, Dar? Can I print from online if I can't find them from a magazine? Can I Google it? So, oh yeah, you're probably allergic to latex, Nancy, are you? <clears throat> this is a little too thick, so it's gonna take a little while to dry here. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, that's going to take a little while to dry because I had way too much paint on it. So I'm just going to leave it for a second. I'll do my other one, another one here, go back to it. Okay, so this one, let's see what combo I can have. Oh, okay, I wonder what, uh, where's that, um, hold on. I'll do this one for the baby. Yellow and let me see what other pastel one I have. I have orange only. That's not really a pastel green, but it's kind of a sort of a pastel green. Okay, I have to switch my paper here. <sighs> my rolling off paper, gotten a little saturated. Uh. Okay. Oops, there's one of my stray little, uh, look how tiny these are. Bought them from Amazon, all Jan's fault. Hey Dana. Oh, Avon does. Really, Charlie? Oh, I must look. Hey, that's that's easy to do. It's easier than trying to get to a an art store for me anyway. So this is ivory which is quite yellow for an ivory. It looks more like a pastel yellow. And then leaf, leaf green. So, all right, I'm doing diagonal this time. Wow, I sure have a lot of green on there, don't I? Mm -hmm. I do, I do. This is going to practically paint my whole paper here. <laughs> Sorry, I want to get some of this green off before I go into the ivory. Don't want to totally mess it up. Okay, my space is getting so small that I can't move. I'm just doing this because I want to have some of the true color as well as what I'm going to mix in a second. So now I have to put it down a certain way here. So I get 
someone's boat. There we go. And oh, I didn't do any texture. Oh well. I guess the plate will have its own texture. Oh well. This will be just like a painted background, no texture. All is good. I'm sorry, I was watching. Hi, Dee Dee! Sorry, I didn't see you come in. Hello, hello, hello. spot on that circle. Gotta fill it in with that wet that's left. Right here in the corner. That's pulled up some of the pink too. Very pretty. You can see it's pulled up. It's hard to see because it's not flat. Oh boy, I sure overdid that green. It was a really cheap one from Dollarama, so it was uh, even uh, runnier than the other stuff. So I'm going to dry this up a little bit so it will uncurl and you guys can see it a little bit at least. I didn't put any iridescent medium on it, but it is so pretty. I will be adding my circles of black and white, so have no fear. Flatten her out here for you. There we go. So you can see that it's picked up some of the colors from underneath. You can see some of the iridescence coming through, some of the pink and the orange. Uh oh. Oh, I can print and Google. Good, good. Darcy, they are not! Oh, Darcy! Yes, I cut them on my cricket, and that's not what they are. Oh. Bye. Oh, bye, Karen. Nice to see you. Glad you could come. Well, see, Darcy, you should have went to Dee Dee's before the snow, and then you could have got stuck there. Then you could have used, streamed your overnight art retreat. <laughs> All right, so I've got that. Oh, that one's done on the back. What am I thinking? Okay, so that one's done on the back. So how many do I have done? One. One. Two, three, and a half. Okay, so I have the back of this one to do. Okay, let's see. All right, so on the back of this, I need red. Okay. I need some red. Oh, that's the, I bought some containers to put that in because my red has closed up. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. All right, I haven't used my silver yet. So what will I use with my silver? I think I will use the, I'm going to use my blue, green, and silver for this next page. <clears throat> yes, I am, Dee Dee. I'm working on my tin. I took out I took out the inserts because these are going to fold up and become an accordion book. And I was going to put 
paper, like I was going to cut circles to layer for papers, but then with the pictures, and I thought, why well, do that? I'll just use paint because then it will, I'll have the pretty layer without having the extra thickness. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And then I thought, oh, then I can play with my jelly plate too. You see, so there's, hold on. I think I can get some more off this. Oh, let me see. There's a couple wet spots. I just, I don't mind it coming up dry, but I don't want to have any wet spots to actually blend with my new colors. There we go. All right. Silver and blue green. Ooh, oh yeah, my silver cap broke. This is just gonna get intermingled. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. That's so pretty. Okay, don't mix too much, Jean. Don't mix too much. Okay. So pretty. They're being mean. Okay, so these are d spots too, but they're not all lined up. So get some texture on here. Don't want to forget my texture this time. Um, I have to make a new one with this because it's so pretty. Oh, hold on. Where's that other one? This one. Uh, which one doesn't have anything on the back? Oh, I must have one that doesn't have anything on the back. Oh, maybe I don't. Ooh. Did I all have something on the back so far? Oh, no, this one doesn't. Okay. Uh oh, what's well? I can't tell by the leg what Mandy's laughing at. What something I said? I'm not quite sure. Sometimes the leg is so bad she's seeing something I said ten minutes ago. <laughs> he said from the mailman. Oh, too funny, Carol. This is a cool, this is a cool combination for sky. Look at that. That is a very cool combination for a sky, a cloudy sky. Awesome. I need to remember that. Need to remember that. All right, here's the magic. Reveal. <gasps> Lay it over there for a second. I have what they call albino blue eyes because I'm an albino, but I do have blue eyes like most female albinos do. Which is just enough pigment floating around, but they're a very kind of true deep blue. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I see, Mandy. Okay, okay. I get excited with my jelly plate. Love my jelly plate. Ooh, look at that. So it's pulled up. This is almost like one of my pulls. It's pulled up some green. 
can see the circles. Very cool. Okay, very exciting. Very exciting. I'm going to turn my paper around because I love that color that's right there on that corner. And I just might use it. So I'm just going to turn it around. Let me see the other end of it. And oh, I've got to clean my desk. That's it. But I've got to clean the rest of my room so I have somewhere to put my desk. Oh, Darcy, poor Dar Darcy, you just, you have to stop going places by plane. That's all there is to it. Jonna has to get Zippy fixed and you can travel by Zippy. Because every time you fly, you get sick. You just have to stop doing that. All right, I'm, I'm looking for my red. I do have a red in here somewhere, guys. And I want my red. I may have to pick up my the paint thing though to actually find it. Ugh. Let's have some red on age. Red and orange. Hold on. <laughs> okay. There's orange. That's the orange I want. Now oh, let's find my red. That's copper. Here's my gelatos. I haven't done them. I haven't used my gelatos yet. Use my gelatos. There's my red. Ah, found it. Yes, I am blue-eyed, blonde, but I'm a natural blonde. It's only fake blondes that are dumb. Didn't you know that? Yep. That kind of the blonde are fake blondes. True blondes like me, we're smart. Okay, so this is Martha Stewart satin, red, whatever color. I don't know where she puts the color. It's red. <laughs> it's Martha Stewart satin, and it's red. This is kind of clogged. And Martha Stewart orange satin. I only bought them because they were on sale, and I had a coupon for it was like twenty five percent off, twenty percent off, including sale items. <clears throat> so I bought them. They're not really any better than the other. Not for me anyway. I mean, I don't paint any of anything other than paper, so. I guess if they're supposed to paint on wood and everything else, so maybe, or in plastic and whatever, so maybe they are better, but for what I use them for, they're not any better than just regular paints, so. Once again, put way too much paint on my jelly paint, but hello, better than not enough, in my opinion, and I need some bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Ha ha ha! Funny, Suzanne. 
very funny. Okay, where is it? Oh, that's not quite dry, so I'll do my fifth one. This. And I really like this, so I'm going to do... I think I ran out of sides of paper anyway. Well, my hair won't turn gray. Because it doesn't have any pigment to turn gray. So that's the one benefit. Probably about the only benefit of being an albino. So I'm not gonna have gray hair. Yeah. Although my mom's on my mom's side, their family, their hair all goes beautiful white. So mom doesn't mind that, but so every time she goes to the hairdresser, she gets mad at her because she cuts off too much of the nice gray. And then she looks all icky. And... There we go. Very cool. Orange and red. Oh, that one already has another side. Right, that's the babies. That's the new baby. Don't know if it's going to be a girl or a boy. So that's the new baby. So I've got one more side to do. And I best get something. Oh, I do have this side's empty. Oh, really, Charlie? Yeah, Carol, my, my dad just turned 70 when he died, and the only place he had any gray at all was his eyebrows. Like, he didn't even have one gray hair. His head was pit. His hair was pitch black. Black, black, black. And he didn't have one gray hair except in his eyebrows. He, his eyebrows were salt and pepper. I guess maybe the last year or so of his life, I guess. Bye, Mandy! Oh, this is really cool. You'll never see it on TV or on the on screen, I don't think. But see those darker ones that picked up? Let me see if I can hold it still long enough for the camera to pick it up. Oh, there's flecks of gold and co or copper in there. It can't be flecks of gold because I didn't use gold yet today, which I may have to use. You can see flecks of like copper. Oh, it's so cool. I wish I could get it on camera, right? Oh, I wish you could see it. Yeah, orange and red are nice together. I like orange and red together. I'm discovering my color palette. Not doing too bad. Not too bad at all. Haven't made mud in a while, unless I wanted to. So that's good. All right, so I just have to do the other side of this one. So I'm gonna have to dry this. It will dry quickly though, because it's just the regular acrylic paints. It's not the uh, iridescent ones. So while I'm thinking, can you guys give me a color combo while I'm drying this? What about a color combo for the other side of this one? <laughs> so, anyone want to give me a color combo?
flatten that out. And once it dries completely, it should flatten back out. Violet and silver or copper. Ooh, okay. I will, since you are the first one in, I will do that. There's my silver and there's my violet. Oh, that is, that is going to be a nice combo. And I'm going to put some iridescent medium in the violet, I think. Too late, Dar. Yes, Dee Dee, I have planned for the tins. I'm using it for, um, as a brag book for my three nieces and for Till and for the new baby that's coming. So I have five, five pages. I have five of these pages. So they'll each have a double layout page. And so then I'm just gonna print small, like one and a half by one and a half photos and just do put some photos on. So that's the plan. Okay, so silver and violet. Suzanne was first. Maybe she had the less, maybe she had the least amount of leg. Uh, I'm not sure, but she got hers in first. So I'm going to try and put a little bit of iridescent medium in amongst that. And then silver. Oh, hey, look, I have one. Of, I have this little stick. Let me mix that in with the stick. So that might, might work better that way. I might have to buy some popsicle sticks. Yep. Dollarama, here I come again. Buy some popsicle sticks so that I can mix my iridescent medium on my jelly plate. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. will be pretty. It'll be like a night sky. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to mix it too much. I want to leave it streaky like that. Oh, I like that. I think I need a little more. I think I need a little more. Oh, I want more silver. Hold on. I want more silver here. Woo! Not there. Okay, I'm just going to do a little strip of silver here. I want a little more silver in that. So I'm going to roll off here what I've got on there. <laughs> My brayer is hardly even going all the way around anymore. It's so, uh, oh, there we go. <gasps> And to think I was scared of paint a mere six months ago. Pretty cool, huh? I think I'm going to use, where's my big, oh, there's my large. I'm going to use my large bubble wrap bubbles on this one. But just gently, because I don't want to pull too much of that up. Oh, that's so cool. All right. Uh oh, this chair is going to break before I can afford to buy a new one to replace it. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to make get a new piece because I know I'm going to like this. Thanks to Suzanne. Um. Just that she tweeted on Friday that she wasn't streaming because they were having bad weather again. But other than that, haven't seen her around. Mm. 
This is going to be nice. It has more texture from that. I should have given it a little bit longer. I'll dry it and then I'll show you. I need to find a page here to do to clean it off with. Dang it. quite dry. See the silver ended up underneath it because, because, well my theory is, because the silver was thicker than the purple when I was spreading, then the silver stayed underneath the purple. Now, I have some silver, I have some stuff left here, so I'm going to take this, these leftover pieces that I messed up when I was cutting. Now I'm going to show you all my papers in a moment for those people who came in later so they can see what I did before you came in. I just need to count everything and make sure I can put my jelly plate away before I actually put it away. Make sure I'm done with it for now. I'll have to do a clean off because there's going to be a really cool clean off on there. All right, let me dry this. Then I can show you it. Uh-oh. Oh no, Mitzi. <laughs> yeah, it does. It doesn't have much of the bubble wrap texture because the paint was too thick and I didn't press hard enough on it, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm going to be going in and doing my black and white circles, so. I'm gonna like these so much, I'm not gonna wanna put pictures on them. Ah! All right, so let's count and make sure I have everything I need. So I have one, Hi, Robin. How's Dylan feeling? I'm not going to put any photo mats, Vicki, because it'll hide too much of the paper. I'll probably just put the pictures right on the paper. Plus, I don't want to have any more layers than I need to because it has to fit in. It has to fit in the tin, right? So I don't want to add any more layers. Oh, look at that. Now that it's dry, look. It's picked up some texture from other layers. See, that's what happens when you leave and let your jelly plate get dirty. You get cool stuff like that. And I accidentally got some silver on the edge there. Big deal. Oh. <laughs> so there's one page. There's this cool, look, doesn't that look like a sky? Look, that's a perfect combo for a sky. Look at the shimmer in that. Look at that shimmer. That's why I love those paints. Ah. Oh. And then that's the other side. So this is going to be for the newest baby. He's coming in July. So that's two. Then I have this one. Three, then there's this one. Four, this is kind of a really grungy one. <laughs> yes, Mickey. I'm proof of that. And then five. I 
I know, Mitzi. Sheesh, they won't once I have them all folded up. And then for the inside and the outside of the tin itself, I have these scallop circles. So there's this one. Uh oh, there's one missing. Hold on. Up oh, there it is. So these two, I don't know, they were going to be for the inside, but I think I might put them on the outside of the tin now. I'm not crazy about this purple that I put on these ones. It's not shimmery enough, the purple. Thank you. Thank you, Dee Dee. I, I just love it. I love it. I'm not afraid of paint anymore. Well, I'm still afraid of it on my fingers, but I'm not afraid of putting it on paper. So, look, my hands are dirty. And I'm not panicking yet. Okay, so, those need to get inked around the edge before they go on. So, I have enough have what I need so I'm going to put my jelly plate away for now <laughs> I think I might need to cut some new acetate covers because the acetate from above and below my uh, on top and on bottom of my jelly plates is so okay I have to put all this away except for my white and my black Oh, drop that one on the floor. I'll pick that up later. If I try and pick it up now, I'll fall. As I have done before. Okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Darcy. Okay, see how nice and clean my acetates are that go over my jelly plate? When you put your jelly plate away dirty, this is what happens, but really, oh, I care. I don't care. My jelly plate works. I've already gotten my money's worth out of it, and it's still going to go strong for a while, so hey. I'm not going to complain. Now I've got transparencies that I can just stick in there in place of it. Okay, let me move this stuff so I can... Okay. That side. Glad I got a big desk. All right. So now I need to wash off my... Wipe off my desk here so I can put my white... And black paint on. Okay. I want to make sure. I guess it's not going to transfer as I. Not that it matters. Of course, our baby wipes in Canada don't have alcohol in them, so. It doesn't work as well as my. I'll just get most of it off. My scrubbing's going to get a workout tonight. That's for sure. Okay. All right. Okay. So, I'm 
just gonna make sure I there's no one here that I didn't say hi to. I think I said hi to everybody. Oh, we didn't say hi to Deb Deb Crafty. Hi Deb Crafty. How are you? Nice to see you. Okay. Yes, they are, Erica. They are permanent. Because they are dye, they are for cloth, for dyeing clothes. Okay. All right. Let me get that back where I had it so it doesn't avalanche. Okay. All right. So now, what? I think I might. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this uh, coffee. No. I'm going to use the other one. Yeah. Coffee. Now, where's the. So I'm using coffee archival ink to ink around the edges. I may switch to no, I don't want. It doesn't need to be black. No, that's fine. That's good. That's what I need. Sorry, is my head in the way? <coughs> or spray them in a box. Be sure to spray them in a box. Put your thing in a box when you're spraying. I think next week on my stream, I'm going to do another art journal page. And I'm going to challenge myself to use some sprays on my journal page. Because I haven't used sprays yet in my art journal. So I think that's what I need to do. See, I like the chevron on it. I just don't like the matte purple against the... Sh I wish the purple was shimmery too. I should have, what I should have done is I should have used this violet. That's what I should have used on the top instead of the purple. Darn it. Darn it. I know you guys don't want to watch, sit here and watch me ink around the edges here, but uh, I'm at 216. Okay. I want to show you how I'm putting, gonna, I want to get it all put together. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this other one. It was this, this goes faster. I just liked the 
I'll see. I'll decide when I get my black and white on it. I'll decide. Okay, so these are okay. They've all got paint on the edges, so I don't have to edge these because they have paint on the edges. So that's good. And save myself some time. Save you guys some boring stuff. All right. All right, I'm gonna show you guys something really cool. All right, so does anyone know who this younger, young person in a kilt is? Have a good look, I'm gonna try and hold it still. Oh, you're not gonna get a good enough view. Let's see if it'll focus for me. Maybe not, darn it. Okay, that is Prince Edward as in the Queen's youngest son, Edward. Oh, yay, Nancy. Okay, so this is Prince Edward. <clears throat> this older dude in the kilt is our prime minister at the time, Nova Scotia's prime minister, um, Buchanan. And that's, of course, the Buchanan Tartan. So this is Prince Edward. As you know, my younger sister, and, well, I was in the tattoo as well for four, uh, four years. Two years in the choir and two years in the pipe band. Played pipes. And so um, the Nova Scotia Tattoo, International Tattoo, always corresponds with the gathering of the clans in Nova Scotia. Because a majority, a little huge, I shouldn't say majority. I'm sure it's a major, majority. A very large percentage of our population in Nova Scotia came from Scotland, of course, because Nova Scotia means New Scotland. And the Scottish miners came and settled in my county, in, uh, in part of Cape Breton, plus in my county, because of the coal mines. And then, of course, spread out through the province. Of course, the French also came. And... There was a huge fight, and the French owned Louisbourg for a while. So there is some French in Cape Breton, and just uh, toward between where I grew up and Cape Breton. That's where my dad was from, Trackety. Anyway, every year the gathering of the clans corresponds with an international tattoo. And so they always have someone, one of the VIPs, opens the gathering of the clans as well as the international tattoo. No, they used to. I don't think they do anymore. For the first about 15 years, they did have that. And so this particular year, Prince Edward was 23. So this would have been 19... Oh, what year would it have been? My sister was 23, so 64, 87. So it would have been the summer of 87. Summer of 1987, Prince Edward was 23. My sister, And he came to do the official opening of the tattoo and the gathering of the clans so he was the vip and he got to watch the tattoo and then afterwards the cast all gathered and they were presenting him with a t-shirt from the nova scotia tattoo so what they did was all the female members of the cast there were about 1500 people in the cast and all the female members of the cast that were 23 the same as him because they had to figure out a way to how were they going to choose who was going to present him with a t-shirt. So all the female cast that were 23, their names went in a hat and they drew the names. And they drew a second name just in case. So the first girl who got drawn, she didn't go and report when her name was called. So they called, so my sister was the backup. And so she got to present Prince Edward there's my sister presenting Prince Edward with his Nova Scotia International Tattoo t-shirt. So, she got to meet 
and bow to Prince Edward. Anyway, so I need to do my, oh, before I, oh, I almost forgot. I need to do my pop of black and white. Now to find my round things. Hold on here. Let's see what I got. Mm, oh, that's kind of cool. I've got, well, I don't have it anymore because it's on the floor and I'm not going after it. Oh, hold on. Let me dig to the bottom here. Where's my round thing? Uh, all right, got my snow bottle and, well, that, that's about the same size. I need something bigger. Oh, there, got that. That's kind of cool. Hold on. This stick will give me some circles instead of rings. And this will give me some large rings. All right, I guess that'll do. I'm going to start gathering some more covers and stuff. Hmm. Yes, I was. Yes, Star. Sorry. I was there too because I was in the choir and of course I said to the security people, the people who were in charge of security, I was like, well, I'm her sister. I have to be able to get up front so I can take pictures. <laughs> so I got to, they escorted me right up to the front of the stage so I could take pictures of my sister. Okay, time for some black and white. So I'm going to do white first. I think I'll use this. Yeah, tartan. Now, did you guys know that tartan, there's a story to the colors chosen for each tartan? For example, the Nova Scotia tartan, which is mostly blue, but it has green, wide green stripes, and then narrow yellow and narrow red. So the blue is for the sky and the water. The green is for our grassy and hill, our grassy hills. Uh, the red is for the soil, and the yellow is for the sun. So that's the story of the Nova Scotia tartan. So I've just got some white paint here. I should have rolled it, I guess, with my... This is not giving me as good a as I want here. Let me get my... Hold on. I think I have to use my other thing here. That one's okay, I'll leave it. This will work better, I think. Okay, now. I guess it doesn't really matter if I get anything on the back of this one because <sighs> let that dry. I'll do the black. I'll do all the white first. Got a lot of circles. They're so symmetrical. Wow, that got a little over exuberant.
Yes, they are registered. Oh, yeah, I do. I have a straw. I do have a straw. I might use the straw for my black. Right. And now I'm really not going to have any place to put stuff, but oh well. Let me get my bubble wrap out of the way here. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to use some bubble wrap for a stamp. Hold on. Where is my bubble wrap? Where's my small bubble wrap? Here it is. A second. Awesome oh, bubble wrap. <laughs> okay. This pop of white I'm going to use bubble wrap stamp. So you don't need to buy a rubber stamp to get bubble wrap stamp. You can actually use bubble wrap. I'll dry. There we go. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Got some kind of message popped up here. Don't ask again. Okay, sorry. It was not a Ustream thing. It was a dictation thing. So I'm at 2.31, so I've got a little time left. I'll come back and do the other sides once I do one side. I'll do one side, and then I'll come back and do the other side. I'm going to need more paint in a moment. I need to use a smaller piece in a way so it's a little more. I'm just going to cut this in half. Uh, a little easier to control here. Let's see. Now, actually, the next one I think I'm going to use something else as a stamp. I don't want to actually use stamps because. Let's add a little more white here. Making a mess on my desk, aren't I? Okay, I think I'll finish stamping, finish with the white, and then I'm going to start a new recording just in case I forget and get knocked off. All right, so I'm going to use these as stamps as well. So, but I need to. Kind of like mix this around first. It has to be nice and flat. So, I don't want that drawing in. Make it bumpy. Okay. 
So, next one. Bye, Charlie. Okay, I'm going to use the one that's a little. This one's a little newer. It doesn't have as much paint built up on it. So this is the kind of textured one. It looks kind of like a carpet. So I'm trying not to press too hard. Obviously, I don't want to pick up white, but I don't want to press so hard that it goes all down in between the texture because then you're just going to get blobs. Oh, that's cool. So here's that one. <clears throat> yeah. At least these dry fairly quickly because you know it's just kind of like stamping, so. Okay, need more white paint. Excuse my sniffles again. Oops. Use my cap to spread it around so it's nice and flat. Oh. Paws went walking through my garbage can last night, yesterday, and she did it again today. Go, uh, you know, going behind my desk, instead of going around, she has to walk right through the garbage can, right over the garbage can. It's like, really? Sheesh. Now, my black will go on top of this, so it'll be uh, added to it. I like that one. Thank you, Dee Dee. Oh, hi, Dee Dee. <laughs> Bye. I will tweet. <laughs> There'll be a recording of how I put the rest of it together. If you guys want to stick around, if you don't want to stick around, I can stop. Okay, so that one's completely done of white. So I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, this one's got lines. So that one's just got a uh, most of this is going to get colored, co covered with pictures, but at least it's fun making it. I like that one, so I think I'm going to use that one on this one. Oh yes, this will look cool on this one. Straight lines on my nice, cool kind of... doesn't mean much, this one.
much left on there. That one has so much texture, it doesn't need much. So I think I'll leave that be. And I only have two more sides left to do, so I don't need much more white paint, but I do need a little. Where's my red one? Where's my dots for the brown one? Where are they? Are they up here somewhere? Maybe they're up amongst my papers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm peeling stuff off my papers that I left. My texture stuff. Hold on, I gotta find my my red one. Oh, there it is. Gotta find the polka dot one. Okay. <clears throat> oh, now where did my pages go? Oh, for goodness sakes. What did I do with them? Uh, there's one. By the time I get to them, my... Oh, dear. There's the other one. Ah, heavens. Paint's going to be dry by the time we get to them. Oh, wrong side. No big deal. Now I'm not going to do this kind of thing with the black because it'd be too much with the black. With the black I'm just going to do some small rings using one of my paint daubers, or my uh, ink daubers. need to make sure I have some on the edges because it's mostly the edges that are probably going to show. There we go. All right. Now let me uh, get this wiped up and I'll do my black. Then I can assemble. So I'll try and do this. What do I have? 15, 20 minutes. 19 minutes. So I can do my black in 19 minutes. Unless it's not going to take that long. And then I'll start a new video for assembling the actual mini. That's probably a good plan. Man, it took me three hours to decorate the pages. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. A lot of fun. <clears throat> All right. Sorry, hold on, I need paper towel. Don't want to get my papers too wet and warp them. Okay. All right. This dauber's dead, so I'm going to use it as a Stamp black. I need I don't want any large black ones, any large black rings. I want them all to be smaller just for some grounding
and my brush go. Also some circles. Oh, it actually works as a small, it doesn't actually work as a circle per se. It works more like a ring. That's kind of a Yeah. don't like that as much so I'm not going to use those anymore just the little rings oops use those for something else sorry Using my pop of white and black, I learned this from Patty Colley Parish. I'm sure she's not the only one to use it. That doesn't show up as much on that one because it already has the purple, the darker color. But this one, it really grounds it nicely. There we go. And now, for these pages. By having a feature that's on all of the pages, it will also kind of connect all the pages together because they all have black and white element added to them. You say what to do to one, do to them all. Yes. Very nice on this one. Now, my, my older sister who lives with my mom is in Germany. Oh no, I hope that didn't mess everything up on the other side. Did there. Let me see if I can find a clean spot here. Oh, I'm just making it worse. Shoot. Guess I'm going to cover that up with a picture. Oh, it's coming off. It's coming off. Whew. Sort of. Okay, I'm going to have to watch out. I'm going to put... Okay, so that one's done. Both sides. Alright. Problem is, when you go over the edges, like that, leaves behind paint but at least if there's cardstock there it will soak in and hopefully dry and not transfer back to the other side sorry I'm missing chat I missed anything but if I did say it again guys if I missed a question <clears throat> I need 
some new paint pretty soon. It doesn't matter if this one's grungy because the under part of it is also very grungy. So it just kind of suits if the circles aren't perfect. That kind of ended up in a bit of a pattern. I didn't intend that to happen. Trying to decide if this one needs black. What do you think, guys? Do you think this beautiful blue one needs black? Oh. I don't know. I almost don't want to put black on it. It has the white for the grounding. Yeah, I know, Nancy. I was going to do that, but with the paper, it actually it hasn't caused a problem. What do you think, guys? Should I put black on this one? I know there's a... Oh, wait. I know there's a lag. I'm going to go on to another one because I don't think I want to... I'll wait until I see your answers. I don't think I want to do black on that one. You don't think so, Erica? I don't think so either. Tell the truth. So then that page won't be cohesive. I think I'll probably go back and put it on and I'll really like it. So actually, I think I know what I'm going to do with the black, the other page. Yeah, I am. I'm going to do something else though. I'm not going to do these circles. I'm going to do something else with that page on black. I think I'm going to... I'm going to use the polka dot. Like I said, if I'm using this as my cohesive item element, the color, the black and have to do it on every page. This is a grungier page as well, so it doesn't have to be as perfect. Excuse me, I'm sorry for sniffling. Paint. I'm going to have to, but I'm going to use my little polka dot thing here and just scatter some polka dots. Oh, yes. See, I knew I would like it. Why do I doubt myself? There. See? 
So it's got the white dots and the black dots. I like that. Very cool. So that'll be dry. Ta-da! Uh-oh. Okay. So I guess I have to stop recording. Oh, uh, oh, it says I can continue recording. Okay. All right. So thank you very much for coming to Music Scrap the Musical Scrapper. There is going to be another part to this where I show how to put the um, book together and put it into the tin. So thank you for coming and watch for part two.